Yo, what's up guys? It's RJ with Roads to Liberty, Future Media Management. I am trying homeless. Hashtag try homeless. This is day four. And this video is being uh, recorded at a train track situation. Uh, I'll give you guys a view of that. Also, as the camera focuses, you can see the sky. Maybe. Pretty nice day today. Uh, here's the train track situation. So I've always been a fan of train tracks myself. I'm going to stand up with the computer and give you guys a little view, a little walk around. Um, the thing about train tracks that's nice is even though it's such a powerful situation when a train comes through, you might be a little afraid of you know getting caught up in that. It's also um, relatively peaceful most of the time when the train's not going through. and. Uh, Mostly, no one else really hangs out at train tracks, so if you're up at a train track somewhere, you're kind of all alone and you get your own kind of space, so that's good. Um, so, maybe no train will come by, maybe one will while we're doing this video, we'll see. Um, you'll probably hear something fly overhead, there's like a military base or something nearby where I'm at here in Abascon, New Jersey. Um, I'll probably look some point and see, I'm not sure if it's the Earl Naval Base or if it's a different base, because it's more air... Uh, you know, a lot of air, airplanes, cargo planes, uh, some jets. I don't really pay attention to the status machinery that's uh, flying overhead. It's been stolen. Here, appropriated. Oh wait, there you go. Uh, let's see if you can get it. My big head's in the way. Wait. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so. It's apparently supposed to be a cold night tonight. This is Wednesday. Uh, we had a warm front kind of in the beginning of the week. Weather's calling for a little bit of a chillier uh, situation going into the end of the week. So that's a bummer for me. Um, <coughs> I'm going to try to hit up a thrift store somewhere today if I can and um, try to get a blanket. Uh, I wanted to show you guys my fort. Uh, that was my big surprise for today. I actually came across a uh, mattress on a box spring behind a dumpster which sounds bad but it's like an infenced dumpster thing and then where this mattress is is underneath a bunch of pine trees in like a kind of wooded little alcove area near um a strip mall near a right aid oops said too much uh yeah <laughs> nobody's watching this yet anyway so it doesn't matter i'll be somewhere else by then um but yeah so nice little base there some other um uh, i'll say hobo or homeless person may have uh, set up there for me or for not for me but for them and then left uh, intact which is great so I slept there last night um, which is cool I slept on a mattress last night for uh, I'll say about three or four hours uh, it, again started to get cold um, I got up thinking it was later than it was started walking to go to the Dunkin Donuts knowing they open at 5 a.m. and I got there at like 345 so Went to bed pretty early, but I woke up early again as well. So I slept actually somewhere else. Um, <laughs> it's weird when you wake up in the middle of the night and you don't have a house and you walk like if you're going to go to the fridge, you're like, ah, I'm just going to lay down here. Like you like lay down in the kitchen. Well, for me, the kitchen is like next to the Dunkin' Donuts. So I passed out somewhere else for like an hour. Uh, and I don't drink anymore, guys. So keep in mind, I'm not really inebriated or anything. I'm just uh, tired and delirious. So, um, the fort is cool. I will try to show it to you at some point, maybe in the next video. Um, but so I'm staying, staying in Abascom for a few days to try to get some work in and earn, earn some extra money, uh, so I can get on to, uh, somewhere else and, uh, keep the show interesting and, uh, maybe start, you know, going to events or meeting people or doing whatever. Hopefully it's interesting anyway, but, um, the road to Liberty traffic is steadily growing for those of you who have asked, those of you who care, um, we, I don't know if I should say the numbers, but I'm good anyway. Um, the website's been getting in upwards of um, over like a thousand to two thousand hits a day, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, it's pretty much our all-time high. We had a peak um, about a month ago where we were getting over two thousand hits a day every day, and then that trailed off when that source of traffic went away. Um, but now we're back up there again, so that's awesome. Um, I do encourage you guys to go to roadsliberty.com um, and visit it, share it, um, and then search us on Twitter, search us on Facebook, and follow and like. 
uh, where appropriate on both of those platforms. Uh, I'm also requesting you guys to give me some feedback. Um, even if you send it through private channels, you don't have to post it publicly, just shoot me a message somewhere if you know me or shoot me a text message and ask me, say, hey, you know, on the next video, why don't you do this, why don't you do that? Uh, I just like to feel more engaged. I literally don't too much talk to anybody uh, very much uh, the past few days. I'm out here just kind of roughing it, doing my thing. Um, so yeah, shoot me some feedback and questions if you have questions. Um, also trying to figure out like a show format that's more structured, so bear with me while it's just kind of loose right now. Um, I'm trying to, I think what I'm trying to do essentially is show um, how a voluntarist would approach living a homeless lifestyle, uh, being as I'm a voluntarist and being as I'm trying to live a homeless lifestyle right now. Um, why that's relevant, I think, is because of where the world is at these days, where the economy's at, um, with the fact that the cost of living is going up so much and there's so much government controls and oversight and taxation and things like if you have a gun registered, you know, if you're someone that wants to protect themselves and you're a homesteader, why don't you just put your money where your mouth is? I've been in the woods enough in the past three or four days to tell you that there's so many places where you could post up and build a fort and, you know, uh, you know, bring an air mattress and, uh, you know, a tent or whatever you want to do. And you could live relatively comfortably for at least a few weeks on end before going back to town and having to get more resources and do that, you know, all year round, maybe two or three different, different spots. It's, I think it's a valid consideration versus paying property tax versus letting the man know exactly where you are, being a, a, a target on the map. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a, um, surprised that anyone would want to, you know, try this lifestyle out and, and try to go homeless. Um, there's certainly some good parts about it, and I'm only on day four. I mean, I've already found a mattress. I've already, oh, yesterday I took a shower. I didn't tell you guys that. Um, I forgot to put that in my notes, but I'm going to squeeze this in. Um, someone told me this before I even did this today. I'm going to post my laptop up right here in this tree. Um, it's actually not that hard to uh, get a free shower, as my buddy was telling me. You just, um, oh shit, I think we got a train coming. Oh yeah. Woo! Ah, it's crazy. That was a short one. Shit. All right, cool. I, I sat down like they were like I didn't want them to see me. Like, what the fuck are they gonna do? Like, stop the train? Be like, oh, what are you doing? Like, yell at me? Like, anyway, where was I? Uh, where was I? Shoot, I was putting something in the mix. Oh yeah, how to take a shower? Probably have to do some editing. There's another government object flying overhead. Hey, cool. Um, anyway, how to do a shower when you're homeless? So I went to a gym, as my buddy said, you could definitely do this trick. Uh, someone told me this. I went to a gym, some mom and pop gym. It wasn't like Gold's Gym or, you know, Planet Fitness or anything. It was some mom and pop gym. gym. And I basically said, you know, do you guys have a day pass, a daily rate? And they said, sure, it's 15 bucks. And I was like, great, do you guys have showers? And they said, yeah. So I basically grilling this girl about the details. I'm like, you know, well, is it like a shower, like an open shower situation or is it like a stall? She's like, it's a, it's a stall, like you have a curtain and everything. I'm like, all right, cool, that's awesome. And I asked her, like, do you, have, do you guys have towels? And she's like, no. So I was like, okay, I'll be right back. So I went, got myself a towel, got myself some um, shampoo. I got an all-in-one thing, which I usually don't use, but I said I'm going to do it this time because I can't carry around a lot of stuff. Turns out that they had shampoo and conditioner in the shower anyway. Long story short, I paid 15 bucks, got a shower yesterday. I slept on a mattress yesterday. Day four of being homeless, it's really not too hard I think maybe some people are trying to I think if you come into it with the mentality of oh no I'm homeless pity me then maybe you just settle for whatever instead of looking for a mattress instead of looking to think you can get a shower instead of changing your clothes I already did laundry once since I've been on the road as well anyway so I squeezed that in um, this twig is in my way hold on <laughs> shit imagine if I broke my laptop that would suck hold on there we go leaving that in all right so what else um i wanted to halfway apologize to you guys for the content not being all that philosophical so far it's more of just like a travel journey uh diary thing for me of me um 
maybe it's not a big deal. Maybe you guys dig it that way. I just haven't had a time to really organize something really deep yet. I have some ideas I feel like that I'm throwing out there that maybe sometimes once the audience grows, if there's more people checking it out, um, someone will chime in and like, uh, what's his name? Kenji from Voluntary Virtues. Like, he's probably watching this going, oh man, na name drop. But like, he, he's a guy that won't, you know, I, I heard him calling into Free Talk Live the other day. So there's some people in the community that, that do like to chime in on the new shows. Um, okay, so what am I trying to do here? Let's see the other, uh, look at this government plane going by. Damn it, where'd he go? Sorry guys. There it is, you see it behind me? Oh yeah. So, it's gonna be a longer video because I'm having a lot of uh, random shit thrown in the mix. I'm trying to show how a volunteer should approach living a homeless lifestyle, provide a case study in voluntary homelessness, and I'd like to pose the notion that perhaps a voluntary homelessness uh, choice could be used as a market reaction um, to the course of anti-homesteading laws and anti-homesteading philosophy um, of the state surrounding things like civil forfeiture and um, just the notion that you don't own yourself, that you have to pay rent to the land, to the man, to, you know, consider your property tax bill might be 3000 a year, rough numbers, 365 days, call it 300 whatever round numbers you're paying ten dollars a day to the state just to be allowed to occupy space on that land that you claim to own to have title to that land pay a rent for that um so we're, we're all feudal serfs essentially except for me haha <laughs> and the other homeless people out here because we don't pay we, we refuse we say well we live everywhere so our tax bill would be astronomical there's no way we could pay um so that's awesome i like that um, when I do finally go back and have to pay taxes one day, once I have some wealth in the United States, if that ever happens, um, they're going to have a hard time figuring out what to do with these periods of time where I'm doing like experiments, I'm voluntarily homeless or I'm, you know, uh, in like 10 countries in four weeks. I'll, I'll worry about that later. I'm really not worried about it at all. Um, so where am I? Talked about property tax. Um, Bubba da bing, bubba da boom. Yeah, so basically if you're paying property tax or if you're paying rent, either which way, every second you're alive, you're draining money, if you think about it. Uh, if you're paying 900 a month, roughly, you're paying $30 a day to, to, to you know, put a roof over your head. So by the time you wake up and go to sleep, if you don't go to work that day, forget any food you eat, forget any toilet paper you use, forget any electricity utilities, forget anything you buy, you've already spent $30 that day just on your roof. So I look at it like this. I, I can spend $30 on food every single day and know that if I had a tiny $900 a month apartment and never ate, it would cost me the same amount of money. So basically my food's free if you want to look at it that way. I kind of like to. Um, so that's a perspective on you know the savings aspect of living an alternative lifestyle like this. Um, I think it's really beautiful. You know, look at me. I'm like pulling sticks off of trees, hanging out. Um, these little crawl spaces, by the way, if you guys can look down this hill. Yeah, let's see if you can get the view. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but if you can see where I'm standing here, that path is a lot more clear than, like, say, over there or over here. This is where I came up. And there's another path that's down there. I don't know if you can hear me. And then there's another clearings that go through behind all these shops so as a drifting person or a, vag uh, uh, a vagrant or whatever you want to call it instead of walking down the main road every day all day for the local authorities to see you wearing the same clothes see you with your same color backpack every day in the same town start to wonder what you're about and want to give you a hard time I can do a lot of my traveling on these back channels behind businesses and jut in jut out go to the Dunkin Donuts go to the you know, library, go to the uh, McDonald's to use the bathroom, whatever the case may be. And more or less, people don't even know I'm here in this town. So again, just pointing out, um, maybe if enough people were to adopt this sort of a lifestyle, I got tree sap on the back of my computer. That's gangster. Maybe if enough people were to adopt this type of lifestyle, maybe the free market would start to adjust to offer services. Again, I've told people before in my personal life, and I think I've said it publicly as well, that 
you know, as an entrepreneur, one of my goals in life is to open a business or a series of businesses that caters to my type of people, my type of D type personality people that are seekers of adventure and, you know, explorers of themselves and, and you know, of the world and of culture. And, you know, imagine having a um, thousand dollar a month, let's say, or five hundred dollar a month rent. Let's let's make it really affordable. Let's say a five hundred dollar a month rent that's good for any any of these buildings and I have let's say 2,000 locations worldwide so in 2,000 different cities you can ch check in sleep one night three nights four nights a week whatever in a room and you just show your badge and you're in you're out imagine that so instead of having a traditional home you can get mail sent to whatever location you're at you just say you know you know traveler life residences unit 70209 and it automatically looks you up when it receives the mail at the main sorting center and then it gets personally sent out to each you know I don't care if someone takes the idea and goes ahead and does it before me because then I'll become their biggest customer and I'll get in the marketing department and work for them and try to get some equity and you know play let play it like that but my head's at like I want to get in the mind of people like myself who are too afraid to say well I'm gonna go homeless they're gonna say I wish there was an alternative to this nine to five grind, this box that, they, that the world wants to put me in. And there is, but it's called making your own alternative. You have to force your way out, like I did, I think. And then maybe you find a mattress in the woods. Maybe you find a very chill train track that you can hang out at and, and do a video at where no one's gonna judge you or look at you funny like a Starbucks where everyone's like, ooh, who's that guy, whatever, you know. Um, so I'm going off track a little bit. Let me see where else I got my notes and we'll just try to wrap, button this thing up here. Um, that's about it, guys, actually. Um, just want to kind of, you know, inspire the free market, inspire you guys to maybe break out of your boxes that you're in in your life and try to do something bold or different. Um, once again, let me remind you guys, if you made it this far in the video, you're obviously one of my core supporters, one of my core listeners and viewers. Please, I can tell you only about 30 or 20% of people even make it to the end of the videos. If you made it this far, do me a solid, either share or even better, just comment on the video. Likes are great. If you can do nothing else, just throw a thumbs up on me. Um, but definitely throwing a comment down or sharing somewhere, share the link on Reddit or um, StumbleUpon or, you know, Pinterest or Twitter or wherever you want to be. And I don't care. Share a link. Let people know. Road to Liberty. Good content. Dudes going homeless. Try homeless. Hashtag try homeless. Whatever. Um, you guys are awesome. This one's going to be a pain in the butt to upload. But um, let's check out one more government plane and then I'll let you guys go. See you later, guys.